So around this time, every baking channel starts posting some videos about Valentine's Day. Which is great, except that not all of us have Valentine's. So today, I'm going to show you an awesome singles treat that'll have you satisfied on this super suffocating singles day. Let's get started. So first, we're going to create one of my favorite cookie recipes. In a medium sized bowl, I'm going to sift together three and a half cups of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of instant coffee, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to sift it to make sure that there aren't any huge lumps. To my mixer, I'm going to add in one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now we're just going to beat this until it's light and fluffy and all the sugar granules have dissolved. Then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of vanilla extract and two eggs. Incorporate all of that. Then I'm going to add in my dry ingredients in three increments. So add a little bit, mix it, add a little bit more, mix it again, add the last bit and then give it a final mix. Now I'm going to scoop it out with an ice cream scooper to make sure that they're all the same size. Then I'm going to roll into a ball and then cut that ball in half. Now I've lined some baking trays with parchment paper and I'm just going to flatten out our balls. You want to press them to be about two and a half inches wide. These will make about 26 cookies. Now once these are finished, you're going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. Even though my cookies are already baking, there's still a lot to do, which is fine because I've got nothing better to do. So I've got a huge bar of dark chocolate and I'm just going to give this a rough chop. I've also got half a cup of melted white candy melts and I'm also going to chop those up. Now in a bowl, I'm going to place in my chopped white candy melts as well as a fourth of a cup of my dark chocolate. Now I've got some chocolate hearts here and I'm just going to take a hammer and I'm just going to bash all of them in. Now I'm not actually going to use these, I just got really sick of looking at them. Now as soon as your cookies are done baking, I'm going to grab some of my chopped chocolate and candy melts and just sprinkle it onto the top of the cookies. And you want to do this right away because the heat from the cookies is going to melt the chocolate and the candy melts on top. Right. So next we're going to make some brownies. I've cleaned out my mixer and I'm going to add in 8 ounces of melted butter, 1 cup of brown sugar and 1 cup of granulated sugar. Mix that until all of the sugar granules have dissolved. Then I'm going to add in half a cup of flour, one and one fourth cup of cocoa powder, and four eggs. Give that a mix. Now once your brownie mixture is done, we're just going to add the dark chocolate and then mix it in. Now I've got a baking tree that's lined with some parchment paper and I'm just going to dump it in and then flatten it out until we have a nice even surface. Then into the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now I've got these little hearts that have sayings on them. This one says my love. And again, just taking my hammer and bashing them in. Why would I need this in my life right now? Why would you? You know what? I can't even with this. So my brownies are done and they have completely cooled. Now I've got this two inch round cookie cutter and I'm just going to cut some circles into our brownie. We're going to need about 12 circles. Then I'm just going to pull all of the edges away and save those for later when I'm crying. So now we're going to create a little glue for our cookie brownie masterpiece. Now I've got two cups of semi-sweet chocolate and I'm just going to add in one fourth cup of steaming hot milk. Mix this together until it's smooth and then place it into a Ziploc bag. Now I'm going to take our cookie, swirl some chocolate glue in the middle, grab a brownie, place that on top another swirl of chocolate glue, and then another cookie. So we're almost ready to enjoy these, but first I've got about a dozen roses and we're just going to cut the tips of the stems off. Then I'm just going to take these and throw them in the garbage. <laughs> Ta-da! And there you have it, your awesome singles awareness treats. These look perfect! It kind of looks like a like a macaroon. A macaroon! This brownie is like extra chocolatey. With the cookie, as much sugar as there is in it, it's kind of tastes like a salty biscuit almost. And so the combination of it is just so delicious. It's kind of messy, but it's so good. So my treats are done. I've got this huge bowl of popcorn and a whole bunch of movies about death. So I think I'm ready to celebrate this tragic holiday. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Bye. Want to see more? Head over to youtube.com slash koalipops. Otherwise, I'll see you back here very soon.